Hi, this is Gary with MacMost. Now, on today's episode, let's take a look at iBooks version 2 for the iPad and see how it handles textbooks. Now, it has a free sample check textbook for you to check out, so you can add that. And then I'm going to look at it in landscape mode here, and you could see that it starts off by showing you a video. So we're going to skip over that video and go to the table of contents page. Now right away you can see the difference between landscape mode uh, as we are here and if I were to go to the portrait mode. So let's stick with landscape mode which is definitely how some of these textbooks seem to be set up to be used. Uh, you can flip through the chapters, you know, you can click on a page there, jump to it, flip through the pages very easily. Uh, when you see something like this there's a video, you can play that. It's actually uh, an interactive, so I can click on different things on the left there, and you can see it comes up and shows all this cool stuff. Here's another interactive, and I can through through the different parts here. Here's a 3D object, and I can grab it, and move it around. And then sometimes there's just pictures and you can just click on them, tap on them to uh, get a closer look. And then sometimes there's a video right in the page. You of course also have a glossary. Here's the glossary term right there in the page. You also jump to the glossary index and see all of the elements there. And then of course you can highlight things in the text. So to do that, you can uh, tap to select and then hold it down for just a second and then you're kind of in highlight mode. And you can highlight something like this. And once it's highlighted, you can tap on it again, change its color, um, or add a note about it. So I'll do something really simple here. And I've got that note. I can tap there to edit the note. I can also tap on the page here and go to my notes. So I can see I've got that one, one in chapter one, one in chapter two, and what each one says. And I can jump to study cards based on those notes. Flip them over to see what I wrote about it. And I can flip through them. And also the study cards include glossary terms. And you can flip it over to see what the glossary term is. Let's take a look again at portrait mode here. If I switch to portrait mode, you can see it looks a lot different and you can actually scroll through the text vertically rather than uh, having to uh, flip through each page. But I mean, look at some pages like here's this page here in portrait mode and then in landscape mode, you can see it looks quite different. So and here's a review section where it has some questions and you can answer various types of questions like for instance, uh, this is just multiple choice with a picture. You can check your answer. Uh, you go to the next one and select that. Um, and then here's a great one where you actually have to drag and drop uh, items to the locations on the image. And a map is a really obvious way to use this, but uh, I imagine you could do all sorts of other things with other pictures as well. I didn't do too well. Now it's important to note that iBooks now differentiates between the new textbook format, EPUB 2, as opposed to the earlier regular EPUB format that most regular books and novels and such are in. So if you try to use some of these advanced features like the flashcards and all in older formatted books, it just won't work. You need to have books created specifically as textbooks for iBooks 2 for these features to work. So that's a look at iBooks 2. You can download E.O. Wilson's sample text for Life on Earth from the iBook store. It's featured there and easy to find. So check it out. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.